just got to work out where I am. I, it's weird, dear Isle. It, with the spawns, you're always on the coast. It can take you five minutes to work out where you are. I'm still not entirely sure where I am yet. I'll work it out soon enough, but... Oceanville. Oh, I, win. I know this town a little bit. We can we can probably pick up a little bit of loot, but also we can grab a drink at the well. I might not loot the town too thoroughly, to be honest, but if we can find a knife, that'll be a start. Oh, fucking hell, Paul. Come on. One zombie's just hit me three times. It's going well. Are you okay there, brother? I'm better than you are. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm running. He raised his fists like he was going to shoot, but he didn't have a gun. I don't think he realised he had half the world's zombies following him. That's kind of funny. He's coming over to say, are you okay? <laughs> He's the one that's actually... There you go, that helped. The helmet. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't have any ammo, so you don't have to worry about me being no. a Do you know where to go? Because I have, I have no if, idea If you follow this road, this road kind of takes you through this island and to the bridge onto the next island. That's the easiest way to go. Okay, for sure. Oh, there's a chicken. I'm going to go and... Uh... <laughs> I prep this for the thunder punch. Thunder punch, eh? Dude, just put it on the ground for a sec. I've got an idea. Oh. Oh, shit. I was expecting that I'm, to... Uh, I'm alive. Sorry, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was expecting that to damage it. I thought a 9 mil wouldn't, wouldn't break it. That made... Sorry, I've ruined your thunder punching plan. <laughs> no, I, I, okay. I've, I've, I only had one bullet as well. I've just one. wasted my bullets. I did think that would knock him out. I'm surprised it didn't. I think they've weakened them. All right, I'm going to have a look, see if there's some food in this greenhouse. Okay. Is he going to follow? He seems like a nice enough guy. His mic keeps going all kinds of haywire. I need to find a knife, and to be honest, I just need to get a wriggle on. I think we're just going to go this way. Why am I still using my fists? What am I doing? Swing, bada, 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 bada. Alright, let's have a little look. I think I might go to Camp Bear. That would tickle your bum, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe it's desired, I don't know. Alright, hopefully we're not like dark blue once we get out the other side. No, we're not. So this is Camp Bear. We're probably going to need to collect up some loots. Make some space. I suppose I ought to take that. I actually... That was good whistling there. Fucking X-Files. What, what the fuck happened to that? It might be on the roof. I can't get it, but it must have gone into the roof. Oh, well, that'll save me some space, won't it? A bit of a freeze there. Oh. This is a good way to get ourselves killed. I've got three Makarov mags.
He hesitated because he wasn't sure if I was his buddy or not. I don't know if you can understand what he's done there, though. He's got... He's got a UMP with four bullets in the mag, and then he's got two mags on his in his backpack, both of which have loads of bullets in. You know, he's def definitely fucked up some there, hasn't he? The UMP's really, really good, but not when it's got four bullets in it. I must have hit the other guy in the brain, the very first dude. I must have hit him in the brain because the... Uh, he insta-died, and he was running around like he was full health, so... It must have been a good hit. Like, if you hit somebody in the brain and they're not wearing a helmet, even with a Makarov, it kills them. So you can one-shot a player in the head if you hit them in the right place in the noggin. It's kind of cool to get a couple of kills with a Makarov, though. They were both more geared than I am, I think. Certainly the guy in there was more geared than me. I don't know about this one. Yep. He's more geared than me as well. He's got an SKS. He, they, they were pretty geared. Running around like they own the place, though. And they, they clearly, they, they don't own the place. Right, let's go. Well, that was kind of useful. That was a pretty successful little, little uh, foray. Hi guys, this is The Running Man's. Thanks very much for checking out this video. This one's on Deer Isle, and unlike the four-part series we did just recently, where it was around me trying to achieve a set goal and really trying hard for something, this one was more around just PvP adventure. You know, you don't know what you're going to get in Daisy. It's one of the joys of the game. You never know whether it's going to be an adventure or a team-up or a quest. When I start a life, I have no preconceived ideas. Sometimes it pans out, sometimes I end up shooting, you know. This one's around PvP and me being on my own, encountering squads and solo geared players and things like that. Hope you like this one. Just a couple of things. First one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for finding me. Hit the sub button. It'll just mean you get to see next week's video. We're doing an edited video most Sundays and sometimes a bonus video midweek as well. Beyond that, this one had some issues with the sound. I've got a brand new PC and a 4090 graphics card. No, it's not running that hot, believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hadn't quite set up Shadowplay properly for the first day. This was, I think, the first day and got the new PC. So my mic channel was recorded in with the game sounds rather than recorded separately. So we've had to use a little bit more music in this video than normal just to try and mask some of that. So just a heads up on that. Beyond that, let's go on with the video. But first, a quick word from the sponsor of this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Love you. Bye. This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. They kindly sent me over one of their wallets and a key case to try. I picked blue of all the 30 colours available. Nearly everything I have is blue. I went for blue. Uh, I, I, there was only ever one choice, but there's lots and lots of different colours to go for. There's some pretty cool textures and materials as well. This is my one on screen now, and you can see my old wallet in the background. I've actually found it really relieving to switch over. I had receipts from nearly 10 years ago in my wallet. Uh, the only thing that bulges in my jeans, unfortunately, is my wallet. Now I haven't got any bulge in my trousers. <laughs> uh, I have to say, it has been quite cathartic changing over. The Ridge Wallet can hold up to 12 cards, and there's a clip on the back of it to hold cash as well. If you want to pick one of these up, have a look in the video description below and click the link, or alternatively visit ridge.com forward slash TRMZ to get up to 40% off the Ridge range up until the 22nd of December. That's ridge.com forward slash TRMZ. Now let's get on with the actual video. Love you, bye. Oh, that's the way we're going. There's people. There's people for to shoot. Am I feeling like a tundra day today? I, do you know what? I kind of am. I don't even have a scope, so right now I ain't using it at all. But I'm going to take the tundra over the blaze. I've not been doing that very much lately, but I think we'll do it today. Fucking hell, you can actually see Alcatraz. Like, I used to set off for, head off for Alpha, Alcatraz and not be able to see it. This is mad! Like, you can see Behringer and, like, loads of the way into it. The view distance is so cool. Yeah, so it's quite a long swim. Just having a quick look to see if there's anyone in the sea. I don't think so. Oh, that might be a scope that fits on the blaze. Oh, I think it is, but it's a oh, tundra, sorry. Oh, wow. That's actually not bad. I quite like that. 
I don't remember having that one. OEM optical sight counter sniper scope. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Fucking hell. I did aggro a Z, but hopefully it... Uh, it won't still be on me. I hope there's somebody here. If I can kill him. If I can't kill him, I hope there's nobody here. <coughs> oh, shit. Okay. keep talking myself into getting shot today. So, I feel like he'll probably go in there. I don't like this scope. He fired urgently because obviously shooting at me aggroed a load of Zeds. Kind of lucky, he staggered me with a gun. That whatever gun he had was powerful. But he, uh, he only hit me in the arm. He had to have retreated. He has to have retreated, but where to? The other thing he might do is back off completely and go and try and get on the roof of the, the main building. Or he might be there. There's, there is two. Damn it. I knocked him unconscious, but that wasn't enough. If I'd have got here a bit quicker... I haven't got the height, he's only going to be unconscious as well. Should be able to get up there and I can't. I've injured them both now. They're both injured. I don't know if he's dead or not. I don't think he is. Right, he's dead. So where's his buddy backed off to? He was behind there. So the one that I knocked unconscious is... I think I hit them both separately. That was the other guy. He could be in that building. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to try and get some height for now. Try and get up there. So there's one, as far as I can guess, I think I hit them both. One is un One's dead. The other one is injured, but recuperating. He came along the back of those long buildings there that I just aimed down, but he could have moved anywhere afterwards. Unless he got killed by zombies, and I really don't think that happened. They were still aggroing towards him. He could be in one of these buildings. I know he's injured and licking his wounds. Where's Waldo? There he is! <laughs> How cool is that? I didn't get where that came from. It sounded like it came more from the right than in front. Could he be in that building there? I think he could be in the uh, the tech building. 
I think that guy that just fired is the one that initially shot at me. I think the orange armband people were different players. Is where I thought he was. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't get a line on him. <sighs> oh, come on. Holy shit, this has been pretty hect hectic, to say the least. Three players. There might be more, I might not survive, but fuck it. Well, he's definitely dead. I don't think I can throw this grenade up there. I think if I throw this grenade, it kills me. It was easy enough to do. I, I I was fine. The sound of the grenade's cool, isn't it? Does this guy have an orange armband? No, he's geared to the tits, though. Look at him. He's been here a while. <laughs> Holy shit. His helmet didn't save him from that shot, though. L-A-R, K-A-M. What gun did he have in his hand when he was shooting me, then? What was that? That's the, uh... It's the R-700. Holy shit. The R700. Oh my god. This guy's been alive a long time. There's not really even any point looting the other two. Fucking hell, I can't work out what to take. I'm obviously taking the bag. Just got three kills with the Tundra, I'm gonna leave it behind. So that scope I hate, I think we might use that scope I don't like, just because it went so well, you know, I don't like it. I don't like that scope, but I think we've got to keep it. That dude was, he, he's been alive a long time, holy shit. That was fucking cut, that was fun. That was a good little, uh, that was a good little play, I'm not going to lie. Can I fit through there? Yes. Shotgun, AK-101. Uh, VSS, Mosin. He's got an AKM on the ground with not many bullets in it. There's usually about 150 bears on this island, so we've got to be careful. Oh, there's a bear right there, look, I talked it in. Oh. I'd quite like to avoid that bear if I can. That looks good. To be honest, at the moment, the bottom of the crater has got, well, it's got that platform. I think in the long term, the intention was to put, like, an Amalsk-style event on that tower. But I think John McClane is no longer developing Deer Isle. Deer Isle is kind of finished, I believe. Oh, he's stuck in the rock, look. I would like to go to some military out locations. 
I'd like to try and find some NBC gear in the long run. But more importantly than NBC gear, I'd like to try and find a buttstock for the R700. Apparently it takes any M4 buttstock. I thought I'd just quickly check if it took that. Oh, for a minute I thought it did. But yeah, we'll, uh, we need to try and get the, uh, the R700 a buttstock of some sort. So that would be good. We could go in there. We could go in there. I don't know if I really want to. Well, we might as well. Why not? I'm, I'm kind of warming up. So I've not been here. SSG. I think we might come out if I find the exit. I th I, we've not found a great deal, but... I'm a bit worried about this. I'm a bit worried about this. These kill you. Oh no. I'm dead. <sighs> I just shouldn't have gone up that ladder, it was fucking obvious. It's possible to get that back there quite quick, but I need to get the exact right spawn. It just so happens that this is the exact right spawn. So we actually died, not just, just the other side of that building. That feels good. I'm really, I'm really, really pleased that we've got that back. Right, should we not go up there? I think maybe we'll not go up there. Right, so we're going back out. I, it, it was always going to be an unwise move to go the way we did. Let's just come back out. Oh, look, we're going to be outside. Outside in the fresh, fresh air. <sighs> Breathe it in. I'm, I'm really pleased that we got a spawn that allowed us to come back. That is cool. We've actually come out a different way. I, I've not come out the same way at all. I've come out a different way. I don't really know where we are, but we'll work it out. So this is bringing us back to the main island. So obviously I spawned right there. That's where I spawned. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what type of player might be here. We got incredibly lucky to get this spawn. I think we deserved the luck, though, because we didn't deserve to die to that fucking ladder, so... Now there is a well here, and I do need to fill my can uh, container up, but I don't know if I really want to do it at that this area. I don't think it's necessarily a smart play. When you've got guns like this, you don't you don't act friendly, you shoot. Them's the rules. 
Sounds good, doesn't it? I think I'm going to leave them the, uh, the gear. I might take that suppressor. Oh, it's ruined already. I've got a Mosin. He's there. This guy was geared. Might as well leave that. For, for they, they can run back and get their gear. I'm sure they probably will as well, but... Uh, we'll be long gone, so we ain't going to have to worry about it. We just get to pick over the bits we actually want. I'm not going to go to the well. I've got a few, maybe three cans of drink off of the dead bodies. I don't want to go to the well having just fired. I think that would be really stupid. That's some tasty water. Look at that. This green stuff coming off it just makes it look all the sweeter. Maybe it's got like a lime flavour or something, maybe? I don't know. Mountain Dew! Yeah! Mountain Dew water! You're right. That's a good shout. <laughs> Fuck! Holy shit! Feels like he's been up to seriously lots of no good to me. If you, it, it looks that way, just the amount of bandages makes me think he's killed a lot of new spawns. So, call me a bad guy, but I'm not going to leave his gun. I feel like he's he's one that his gun needs to go. It is a little bit of a change of pace, but when you get gear like this, I find it really hard. Like. I don't really see that it makes any sense for me to try and be friendly. Certainly in that scenario, the guy's over a dead body. I just thought, shoot first, like, talking is going to be stupid. But the two at the military base, I didn't need to shoot them. I could have just moved along. But if you get an R700, I think you've got to use it, haven't you? You know, you, you, you've got to try and use the gun. It is quite a rare gun to get. You see me. Had he seen me? I think he would have gone straight away down there. He may have flanked around, but I think he's I think he's gone this way. That's really not like me. It's not like me to miss the ones and then hit the hardest one. That's not like me at all. Canelli, he's, uh, he's camoed well, isn't he? If he didn't die to the shot, he died to the... <laughs> he died to the fucking... The water, didn't he? <laughs> oh, a poor fisherman. His gear we won't dispose of. We'll leave it there. Might take his leather kit. It's ruined. Let's not take his leather kit. Oh, I've got a lighter. Let's go. Well, that was worth looting, wasn't it? That was amazing. All that fat loot that we got. I did do an awful lot of overwatching, though. I'd say I, I looked to see if there was players for uh, at least 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe five. Still not sure I like this scope. But I've now got five kills with it, so I kind of feel like I need to keep using it. I hate that it defaults to the iron sight, though. Like... It defaults to iron sights, which is awful.
Fucking hell, this guy's geared. Oh no. I think I hit him, but he obviously hit me. GG to that guy. Oh, I just tried to stand up to go down, but that was another gun like mine. That was an R700. I saw him and I tried to go and reposition, but GG, he played that well. Fair play to him.